welcome. My name is Lexi Jong and here I like to talk about luxury makeup. Today's video has been highly requested by many of you. I'm going to show you my setup. So I recently purchased Impressions Vanity Storage Solutions. So I didn't purchase any of the like drawer systems or anything, but I purchased the Vanity Desk and some of the storage towers. So I'm going to show you those. And then when we come back, I'm going to show you, or well, I'm going to tell you my thoughts on those items, whether I pick them up again, and we'll talk a little bit more. Now, I have to say that it's kind of a mess. So I figured I was going to clean it up first, but I figured you might as well see what I really work with on a daily basis, because I this is typical. So this is usually what I have kind of all over the place. So I will show you kind of what I have in all of the drawers and things like that. And also I am looking for suggestions for brush storage or organization. I like to keep things kind of handy. That's why I have everything like in the desk and nothing in the storage towers because I want to have it all reachable. So if you have any suggestions of something that might work for me, let me know. Particularly, I want something for the shorter handle br brushes. I think I might end up moving some of the lipsticks and using one of the drawers for some of the brushes. But if anybody has a better solution, that would be great. <laughs> Thanks. So I'm going to cut to the clip now where you can see everything in my little room. And then I will come back and I'll give you some fun. So this is the room that I film in. And these are two of the towers for Impre or from Impressions Vanity. And, you know, I don't have anything in these yet. So, yeah, th this is originally what I was going to get were the two towers and then just use my previous desk and everything. But that's over here. No, my kids are using that. And this is all nail polish. I need to get another organizer thing. So I've got nail polish there. Unfortunately, the towers, they were, the shipping on them was so expensive. It was actually a better deal to get the vanity set with it. So this is the vanity one. This is the longer one. I forget. I think that's like pro or something. Over here, I just have recycling and a bag of trash and then new items that I'm filming with. And over here, I've got microfiber cloths, some makeup bags, brushes I'm working on organizing because in my old desk, I kept those in drawers. And these are all shorter handles, so the other storage, you know, doesn't really work that well. But I was keeping them in drawers. Now I have lipsticks in the top drawers. So I'm trying to decide what to do. I might actually put them back in the drawers and take the lipsticks out. These are all items that I have that I haven't gotten to using yet on my channel. And this is the messy vanity. <laughs> so this, it used to be our guest room. We don't ever have guests. So up here I just have, you know, some uh, boxes I had stuff in. This, I use these to cart things um, in and out of the house when I'm taking pictures outside. And then over here on top of the vanity, I've got my Linda Hallberg um, pencils, crayons. This is where I keep like foundations and primers. You can see some of them made it in, some of them did not. They should be in there. I've got my Linda Hallberg brushes here. I keep those separate because I really use those for certain things. These are brushes that I am testing along with these <laughs> and these. So um, yeah, kind of got those separated. Then I've got my Omnia Gold. These are the natural hair brushes. I really like these, but I keep them separate just because they have longer handles than the majority of my other brushes. So uh, I'll be putting some other longer handle brushes in there as well. And then this is a storage container. I've got eyeliners here. These are mascaras and uh, I have some like brow products. This is concealer. And I actually have my brow pencils in here and a hairbrush. <laughs> and then these are lip liners. These are liquid eyeliners and lighting utensils. And then this is a pile of mascaras that I have been meaning to put in like an empties pile or empties video. So they're there. And then over here, this cup is for brushes that I've used that day. And 
then I go and wash them. These are my meteorized blush mix that I made myself. And you can see that these top drawers, they are clear. So when the desk is clean, <laughs> you can see everything. And you know, this is my favorite drawer. So we've got Suku up here. We've got the lipsticks and the lip bogs and lip glows. We've got Givenchy and Hermes, Sicily, La Bouche Rouge, Chanel, Burberry, Guerlain. So, got those lipsticks in there and these three top drawers they pull out so I've got lip glosses in this drawer and then over here in this one I have my Lisa Eldridge this is actually the Ray plate I've got my Guerlain cases for the Rose G's got some more Dior and then I have um, powders that I use a lot and then up here I have some more lipsticks and powder brush that I'm using, spray water, and then this is the majority of my brushes. So I keep them all in here. They're sorted by category, but I need to reorganize right now. So I've got like my eye brushes and you know foundation, cheek brush, so forth. And then this is one of the Sonia G brush holders. And this fits the shorter handle brushes really well. So I have only shorter handle brush, brush, brushes here. And my Lisa Eldridge highlighters, few Westman Atelier products and products that I'm using right now and testing out my channel. This is a brush bar and I use this for brushes that I've used like once or twice, but I'm not ready to wash yet. So something like maybe like a powder brush or a blush brush. And then in my drawers, top drawer here, we have all of my base products. So powders and foundations and things that are not out and then then we go into blushes so i've got cream blushes and you can see that i have box lids and boxes in here and that's because i'm not sure if you can see i actually stuffed tissue paper in the back of this one because these are smaller boxes but you cannot reach the entire <laughs> you can't reach the entire thing like there's no way to reach the very back of this drawer unless you take this stuff out. So I found it's easier to put it in boxes and then I can just take the whole box out and you know, go back there. So I've got some Chantecaille. These are my, I've got some cream blushes here, like my Clay de Poe, Armani. These are my Lisa Eldridge's. I've got Chanel, Givenchy, uh, Wayne Goss, and Hermes. And then, down here, I've got Westman Atelier Makeup by Mario, Burberry, Givenchy Loose Ones. These are my Makeup by Mario um, powders. We got the Sisley. These are the Orkney, Dior, Suku, Pat McGrath. Again, got boxes here. So these are definitely like some other liquids like the Surratt. I've got like a Sisley stick back there and so forth. And then the next drawer, these are highlighters and bronzers. So I've got those in there. In the bottom drawer here, these are all samples. So this great makeup bag, <laughs> success is the only option because I love expensive makeup. Really like that, that was a gift. And then this drawer here. So top drawer on the other side, we have single eyeshadows here. So these are my Dior singles, my Jones Road singles. Actually, just recently bought this from Clarity Cosmetics. It's an indie brand, and I played with around with it. Let me know if you guys are interested in a video on that one. I've got my Chantecai shades here, and some Chanel singles as well. And then over here we've got Dior Quince, Chanel, Suku, Givenchy. Back there, I mean, this has just recently grown. I'm gonna have to redo this, but um, I have my Byredo nuggets in there, and I think there's my La Bouche Rouge is in there as well. And then next drawer, we've got Tom Ford, Chantecaille, these are the Chrome Lux and the Quads, and random palettes like the Burberry here, uh, Lethal Cosmetics by Terry, Bobbi Brown, Makeup by Mario. And then back here, we've got all of my Pat McGrath palettes. So I've got my motherships and the quads and so forth that are there. In the next drawer, we have creams and liquids. So um, these are like eyeshadow crayons and things back here. I got the Chanel liquids. 
I have all of the potted ones like the Tom Ford, the Westman Atelier, and so forth here. These are little Viseart palettes. Um, my Natasha Denona Glam. And then the bottom drawer here, I have my bigger things. So these are my Adept palettes with the Surat and the Indie brands. Uh, Linda Hallberg's here, my big Natasha Denona's, my big Viseart's, and my Salt. So that's really, that's my whole collection. And yeah, so now I just need to figure out what to do to um, kind of reorganize things a little bit better. But just a few things about Impressions Vanity. You are going to build everything from scratch. Uh, so like this is a solid piece, but even the drawers, like you're putting together this, with this, with the bottom, with the back, you put the drawer glides on here, you put the drawer glides on there, you know, you are truly building everything. My biggest complaint, I have two big complaints, these are not attached to each other. So I'm gonna have to go to the store and buy like an L bracket to um, connect these, but this piece just sits on here. When you put product in, it's, it's heavy, so it's not like gonna move around easily, but I have kids, they could bump into it, be playing around, not that they should be in here, but you know, things happen. So it could shift with uh, pressure. <laughs> so the glass top also just sits on top, but it does have like a bit of a groove here to fit into. So that's a bit more secure, but these are separate and yeah, I can slide this. So, and I actually did because I, I bought the rug after I put this together and filled it and I didn't wanna have to take it apart. So, um, yeah, it, it definitely slides off. My other big complaint are the drawers. And again, that's why I had to go to the boxes because if I want to get something out, it's just ridiculous. Now I ran out of boxes, which is why these don't have boxes, but I've been getting more. So I'm going to be putting some boxes in those drawers as well. And one last thing to show you, got these circles in the back. So if you buy the impressions vanity desk you know essentially they're trying to sell you with the mirror as well which fits in those holes so they don't cover those up if you don't buy a mirror <laughs> so unfortunately um yeah i've got those so they send you like two little covers so one for each end but all of these holes here are open so it's just kind of annoying but you can buy them separately but I didn't know to buy them when I bought it. So now I'm not going to buy them and pay shipping for that because I think that's ridiculous. <laughs> so that is everything with the Impressions of Vanity set. And I think that's everything here. So thank you. So I hope you found that interesting. And yeah, you know, I definitely have quite a bit of makeup. It's obviously the most makeup I've ever had in my life. Uh, you know, having a YouTube channel you really end up acquiring a lot more makeup because again, one of the main reasons that I do YouTube, and I know some other YouTubers have the same reasons, is we buy it so you guys don't make mistakes because it's kind of better for one person or a few people to buy all of this makeup and potentially make mistakes on it than it is to have like 100 people buy a product, absolutely hate it, and then either they return it and it ends up going in the landfill or they can't return it and they're out of luck with money and landfill waste. So, you know, that's that, that's part of the reason that so many YouTubers have so much makeup. For some people, it's also like PR and stuff. You can't really control what you get with that. For me, it's primarily just that, you know, I really want to show you guys as much as possible to help you guys make better consumer-based decisions. So, uh, yeah, I definitely have a lot of makeup. So I'm always looking for suggestions on storage and organization. I might get some of the drawer organizers at some point, but again, as I mentioned during the little clip, my biggest issue with the Impressions Vanity desk system is the fact that I cannot see everything in the drawers at one time. So even if I have like an organizer back there, you know, I don't know how I'm going to reach those things well. So I think the box lid system is actually working pretty well. I've talked to a few other people who have one of these desks and, you know, the top drawers, they do pull out all the way. So I can reach everything in the top drawers. 
but the other drawers do not. And I have to say the ones in the storage tower, they don't pull out all the way either, but they, they do seem to come out a little bit further than the ones in this desk. And that doesn't really make sense because I think they're kind of the same part based on the way they were shipped and packaged. Sounds like this is just a smaller tower versus a larger tower, but I don't know, <laughs> that, that's how it is. Maybe it's something to do with the way I put it together. Not quite sure. Um, but if you are getting, or if you're interested in picking up one of these things from Impressions Vanity, definitely get it on sale. They do sales all the time. And like every holiday, there's a sale. Things do go quickly. The kicker is the shipping. <laughs> so the shipping price was actually, it cost me more to have it shipped. I, originally, I was just trying to buy the towers. I was going to keep my little desk that I was using and everything, just use the towers. But the shipping cost more to ship those two towers than it was for me to purchase those. And it was actually a better deal for me to get the actual vanity table with the two towers, which did not change the shipping price. And you know, like when you get multiple items, you kind of get a better deal, or at least that's the deal that I got. So normally when you buy this, and I'm not sure, I didn't focus on this, but there are holes in the back of my desk. Let me show you real quickly. So you can see these holes back here. These are to have a mirror attached. So they sell like a, a mirror that you can attach in there, but because of my lighting and the little um, holder, because I use my phone actually for filming. So because of that, I can't have a mirror there. So normally when you buy one of these vanity packages, they do try to sell you with the mirror and everything as well. But I opted out of that because there was no point for me to, to have a mirror with my setup. So overall, I really like the appearance of this. It did take me a long time to put it together. I put it together all by myself. Um, my husband didn't help me with any of it. I'm on the third floor and I carried all these pieces up myself, including the top pieces, which were very heavy. Everything is in small pieces, so that's pretty easy, except it's just, it's time consuming. It's not hard to put it together. It's just very time consuming. You even have to attach like the drawer glides and everything. So you attach the drawer glide, you uh, onto the inside, you attach it to the actual drawer, you build the drawer from all of the little pieces. So it's, it's time consuming to do, it's not difficult. Um, the hardest part was actually doing, like putting all of these pieces, you know, stacking them together. As I mentioned during the demo, the actual top, once that's put together, that's very heavy. It's not attached to the towers at all, the, the actual drawer systems. And the glass kind of sits on top as well. Now it's a little bit, you know, the, it's got more of a groove like in the back where the mirror goes. So that's kind of a little bit more stable, but until you have product in, you know, you can easily kind of move these things around. So I don't really like that aspect of it. I just think it's not the safest way to do that. So again, I'm going to have to look into getting some L brackets. But overall, you know, I think it's a very nice setup. I just don't really love the fact that you can't see all the way to the back of the drawers and the fact that these are not actually securely attached. So I hope this was helpful. I know a lot of you wanted to see what I ended up getting from Impressions Vanity and how it was, I'd have to say, putting it together. Um, <clears throat> so I hope this was helpful. I know a lot of you have asked me to see like my setup and, you know, kind of see the lipsticks too, but, uh, you know, the, the towers and stuff, I would say that I probably spent like several hours. I don't remember how many hours it took, maybe like four hours or so for each of the towers. And then, the actual vanity, I think I did that over like a day and a half. So, you know, it wasn't like a full day of working. I have like the kids and stuff I have to take care of and stuff like that. My husband was at home. So I did these things kind of, you know, like late at night or early in the morning before people got up. So um, there's, there's that. Not hard to put together though, just time consuming. Now, if you have any storage organization 
suggestions, please be sure to let me know and I'd love to hear them. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you enjoyed this, please give me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. I'll see you very soon. Have a great day.